Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> I stand before you as someone who is obviously well put together, ostensibly successful, and one would guess, gas free. <laughs> it is with deep regret that I share with you, one of those is untrue. You've all been there. I realize that each of you in the basement of this Ramada is a high net worth individual. <laughs> you especially, sir, thank you for coming. So it is, it is with deep humility that I share with you that fart forecaster is something that is not so much a creative endeavor for me as it was born of absolute goddamn necessity. <laughs> Clearly, there are very different farts in each of our lives. <laughs> We're friends now, right? I'm asking you for money. We can talk about this. <laughs> there is the benign fart, something that's more flash than bang. <laughs> something which, which an open window can cure. <laughs> then from time to time, we are faced with something like this. <laughs> that was my reaction precisely. Your reaction to the slide behind me, which I've totally seen before, was exactly what I experienced when I first looked at this slide. For some flatulence can only be described as good versus evil. <laughs> In the most basic of all battle types, arm wrestling. <laughs> and even though the, the image is balanced and you feel that it's a 50-50 chance, clearly the devil may win. <laughs> Fart forecaster is something that fits on. <laughs> Did you forget briefly that this was a pitch? Is that what happened? If I had a dime. Still trying to sell you this app. Fart forecaster bridges the gap between good and evil. It opens the window of life's specific crises. I guess if I had to put Fart Forecaster one way, it would be this. <laughs> Many know Keanu Reeves for his movies. What most don't know is the man is made nearly purely of stank gas. <laughs> He's not alone. <laughs> Unicorns, pegasi, anything breathing rainbows. <laughs> while overtly on the outside, seemingly sweet, <laughs> seemingly pure. <laughs> Capable of emitting gas that could kill like sarin in a subway. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely noxious. So, if you're afraid of Ebola, <laughs> Sleep well. If you're afraid of, if you're afraid of some virus coming home with your child from school, you're being a fool. <laughs> Nearly everyone in this room, in fact, nine out of ten people, look around, look around, make eye contact, look at each other. Nearly nine out of ten people in this room represent ninety percent of who's here. That's too much. That's too much, and we can do better. <laughs> we can do better. Of that 90%, three of those 10, somewhere between 25 and 35%, <laughs> are flatulating right now. 
You should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> it's clear from the smell of this room that you are not. <laughs> so how can we bridge this gap? Problem, farts. <laughs> Obviously the room is very small. The world, however, is large. So if you had a way, a way in which you could forecast what type of fart was going to happen where, you could plant yourself somewhere else. You could be elsewhere, <laughs> which takes us to the solution. <laughs> Sometimes the only clean air left is in the lungs of a stranger. <laughs> Sometimes merely to save yourself, you are going to have to unnecessarily perform CPR on someone otherwise Perfectly fine. <laughs> Let's not forget how to do it. It's the ABCs. A, as usual, happens in the top right of any graph. <laughs> A stands for airway. Do they have one? You better fucking hope so. <laughs> Going down to B. <laughs> breathing. Only one of you can live. Let it be you. <laughs> B is for breathing. You need to take all of their air. <laughs> C, obviously you're hoping that their heart is still working. That's the cardiac pathway. Are they breathing? No. Let their heart beat. Come on. You've stolen their air. It's what you do. How did we get here? Well, you've gotten here to this point. You've identified this person with the help of the fart forecaster. Because a secondary app, this is something that's only in beta at the moment, <laughs> is not only does it allow you to get out of the way of noxious farts, but it places you in the position to identify those who have not been farting and who are breathing clean air. <laughs> what I'm about to show you is proprietary technology and it's something that I'm gonna need you all to swear not to share with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> A 2007 survey found unique correlation between male fertility and humans. <laughs> and birth rates of manatees. <laughs> In the last 30 or so years, not great at math myself, since 1989, <laughs> There's been nearly a 20%, an over 20% decrease, or so, <laughs> thereabouts. There's a margin of error. <laughs> what we found is that male fertility in humans, as it's presumably decreased, <laughs> yes, that's what's happened. <laughs> These are very recent figures from 2007. These are things that I've just become familiar with. So, you've heard of global warming. An unknown factor in that, of course, is human flatulence. Male fertility, as it declines, has cleaned up the air. That's something you don't hear about, carbon offsets. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> as men die off and fail to reproduce, the rate of manatee growth has been nearly double. <laughs> <laughs> 80 is twice 40. <laughs> it's been very nearly double. Very nearly. What does this mean for you? Why should you invest in Fart Forecaster? Because of rap music. <laughs> this is usually the point in my presentations where I uh, bust out rhymes. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna belabor it. I would be remiss if I did not share with you my expert beatboxing. <laughs> this is usually what opens the wallets and allows people to, uh, to invest in my, in my startup, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is what we're still doing. <laughs> the topic of this rap music beatbox is, of course, <laughs> steroid Obama. <laughs> now, I know I thanked him sarcastically a moment ago, it came out wrong. <laughs> Earnestly, faced with this, thank you, Obama. <laughs> thank you. This is something, if this man were to fart in front of you, uh, honestly, would, 
Is there a person in this room that would have a problem with it? No, because Hulk Obama, <laughs> Dr. David O'Banner O'Banner <laughs> Obama, no one would have a problem with this. Good heavens. Ladies and gentlemen, why should you invest in my app? A full 30% of the 90% of people in this room, <laughs> that's nearly twice of who's here right now. <laughs> Give you a minute for that to sink in. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> you need this. These apps are meant to make our lives better. It's make, meant to make our lives more convenient. If you can have an app that can allow you to find within seconds a stranger who will have sex with you and never call you again, certainly, certainly, ladies and gentlemen, you should be allowed to fart and not disturb Anyone, may God bless you and may God bless America.